CM Punk's return to professional wrestling in 2021 was a monumental moment, a moment that would be remembered for years to come. Punk finally coming back to the world of wrestling, a world he once swore he'd never return to. Punk's appearance set the wrestling world on fire and provided yet another shocking moment in 2021. The Second City Saint was THE star needed for AEW to reach the next level, and there was a high level of expectation for his return to wrestling, and the ratings were increasing slowly for the company. You know, things were very good for AEW at the time, the ratings were increasing, they got a lot of stories going on, and CM Punk was THE guy. He was like, hey, we're here to stay, and CM Punk was the mega draw. Strangely enough, he was a bigger draw in 2021 than 2011. T-shirt sales were at an all-time high, and CM Punk's hype was mostly responsible for the excitement AEW had in the summer. He had a strong run that culminated with the AEW world title but an untimely injury got in the way. From there, it was all downhill. However, Punk was still a massive draw for the company and it's understood why Tony Khan tried time after time to keep him because he's the wild card, the guy that will get you the buy rates and potentially lead the company a step further. Punk was one of the biggest draws of 2021 and 2022. He led the company and if not for the drama and injuries, it's most certain he'd still be around and a return to WWE was most likely always open due to this. They don't need CM Punk at all, it's not something they had to do, but there's no doubts he'd certainly bring extra money and attention to the company. CM Punk's return to WWE has millions of views across all social media. It shocked the wrestling world and even some outsiders. And this is the attention WWE craves. There was a time where this kind of attention was very few and far between. That's changed in the last two years, and Punk's return is at the moment a huge success for the company. And the funny part is he just returned. They've been hyping him up recently and treating him like a big deal, which he is. And this leads me to the next topic, the locker room. It's been well known that CM Punk hasn't had the best relationship with the locker room, whether in WWE or AEW. In WWE, he's always made it known how he felt, even if it offended others. There's been stories of him thinking he was a locker room leader back in the early days of his career, problems with writers, and of course eventually, Triple H and Vince. Now are some of his problems valid? Yeah, but regardless, it didn't make him the most loved in the back. And Punk's departure of course had to do with how he was treated. He left, but there was a lot of heat on him. Punk is not loved in the back, it's well known because he always shared his opinion. Some people like him, some people don't. And this followed him to AEW. It was all nice there, but once Hangman cut that promo about Colt Cabana, the locker room was divided. Too much drama involving Punk and the Elite. Brawl out was intense and the damage from that incident still follows AEW to this day. The show Collision was brought on to help CM Punk have his own show and they had a nice dynamic but ultimately it didn't last too long because of a couple of incidents involving Ryan Nemeth and Jack Perry. This led to his release in AEW. Now for as much problems Punk could cause, I doubt he would in WWE. For one, there's plenty of interest from his side to return over the last couple of years. He actually wanted to go back in 2021 but that never happened. Then of course WWE saw if they could get him a year earlier and potentially have him on the WrestleMania 39 card. AEW was a place where Punk probably felt above most of the wrestlers. That doesn't work in WWE. As big of a name as he is, he's just another guy and they won't allow for him to do whatever he wanted. With WWE, they don't really need him, so if he causes problems, he's out. This is basically his last chance. He can't really cause trouble, so if there's issues, I doubt he'll try to do anything about it that would make him look bad. So now that Punk's back, what's next? His return brings a lot of interest to the product and a lot of potential matches and stories. His first promo was somewhat underwhelming to many as he came out and did a short version of his 2021 promo, except this time, he couldn't really say he left wrestling in 2005 and returned in 2021. It was more of a way of showing that he missed the WWE fans. And some didn't like this because it didn't feel genuine. Personally speaking, I did think Punk should have said more, but it would have been crazy to think he'd be going all out like he did in the past. That's not gonna happen. It's more about showing everyone, hey, he's back, and simply that's it. There was no explanation, not much to talk about. It somewhat hinted that he's going to trick everybody into believing he's here for the fans because right after the promo, he said he wasn't here to make friends, he was here to make money. This kind of shows what's up with CM Punk, somebody who's truly a heel and Seth Rollins, the guy that worked harder and tried to win over the fans, sees through him. This in itself could lead to a huge feud that brings out the best in both men because to some fans, those two absolutely hate each other, especially from Rollins' side and in turn, this could reveal Punk's true intentions. I thought they could have done it with Rollins turning heel and being jealous over the return, but by the looks of it, it's probably Punk turning heel, we'll see. It makes sense. That's gonna be a big storyline and I can see them going all out with the promos. Other than Rollins, Drew McIntyre seems to have a problem with Punk returning. This one is more in storyline though. It's clear that there's an opening for them to do a story involving Punk being hated by the locker room due to being everything he once hated himself. You know, Punk at one point was complaining about these guys taking over, being on a part-time schedule and whatnot, and he's doing the very same thing. Hell, he might get a WrestleMania main event out of this. Sami Zayn's a potential opponent. He came up similarly to CM Punk, but goes about things entirely different. Same with Kevin Owens. 
That one doesn't seem likely though due to the relationship between Punk and Owens. There's a lot of fresh matches for CM Punk but perhaps the biggest match is Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief is associated with Paul Heyman and the duo have a strong connection between each other. It's strongly modeled after Punk and Heyman's except this time around, except this time around, Paul Heyman treats Roman like he's a kink. This is the most interesting for me because Punk had some tough comments for Roman claiming WWE wanted him to look strong during one of their matches. That could be used for the storyline and Punk could be the one to make things worse for Roman after he potentially loses the title. Because I'm pretty certain that they want to eventually turn him face and that could be done with Heyman realigning with CM Punk leading to a face turn. Now, CM Punk's return is very strange in general. It felt like he would never come back due to the way he left, due to the way things are there, but he came back. He's kind of going against a lot of stuff he said in the past, but a lot of wrestlers do that. At the end of the day, he was here to make money. That's literally what it is. He said it himself a week ago. I'm interested. I'm interested in it regardless because he's back, but I'm interested in the story about how he's basically a hypocrite. He lied in the past and he's doing the same thing that he once complained about John Cena and The Rock doing. So it should be nice. CM Punk's back. I'm very interested, so yeah. Alright, what you guys think of CM Punk's return? Please comment down below on that to first video. Make sure you hit the Anaconda voice on the like button and perhaps the GTS on the subscribe button. Peace. I'm out.